hello everyone so i think uh, by seeing the thumbnail all of you have got the idea about the topic of the today so today we'll be going to discuss about the uh, welding okay so this is uh, one chapter from the production engineering so without wasting time let us uh, start it okay so first is in helium arc welding the electrode is made of gas okay so helium arc welding is uh, one type of tungsten arc welding so tungsten inert gas uh, arc welding so tungsten is uh, used as the electrode in case of it okay so for the first question uh, d will be the answer okay then moving next which of the following welding process uses non consumable electrode okay so in case of your again tungsten inert gas welding your electrode is a non consumable type so here c will be the answer so let us check it for one your d tungsten is the answer and for two your c tungsten inert gas welding is the answer okay moving next in resistance welding the pressure released up matlab when okay so it is uh, we have to check it so in case of your resistance welding what happens your current is to be passed through the uh, your metallic plates where we are going to be weld okay so after the passing of current it will be it is going to be join okay so after uh, your uh, passing of coin uh, sorry current okay so it is going to melt okay after the melting what uh, we need to do we need to apply some pressure okay so after uh, cooling of that uh, weld actually we are going to pass the or uh, we are going to apply the pressure so here c will be the answer okay then moving next fourth question oxygen to acetylene ratio in case of your oxidizing flame okay so in case of your oxidizing flame as uh, we know as the name suggest only your oxygen will be more as compared to your acetylene so in case of your this two will the answer matlab d is the answer that is two is to one so uh, oxygen as compared to acetylene will be twice actually okay so for three c will be the answer and for four d will be the answer okay then moving next fifth question the material used for coating the electrode is called so basically is uh, our electrode which is uh, used for welding purposes that is being coated with some material and that material is known as your flux okay so here d will be the answer okay then sixth question which of the following welding processes uses non uh, non consumable electrode electrode i think this question is repeated again so we have already discussed so for this c will be the answer that is tungsten in not gas welding okay then moving next okay so here d and here c is the answer so which of the following is not uh, a welding accessory so we can check a uh, hand screen is an accessory or uh, b electrode holder is also an accessory and gloves is also a accessory but uh, the cable is uh, not a welding accessory actually so here a will be the answer then question number 8 the transformer used for ac welding sets is which type okay so basically your uh, ac welding ka jo transfer hota hai wo step down hota hai okay so that is step down type transformer is used as, uh, in your uh, ac welding process that is alternating current uh, uh, that is process alternating current welding set okay then uh, question number 9 sorry so in which type of folding pool uh, uh in which type of folding is a pool of molten metal used okay so basically in case of a sub submerged or cooling we are using a pool of molten metal so here b will be the answer and in case of your question number 10 plane and butt sorry plane and butt to welds uh, may be used on materials up to approximately so it is up to 20 5 mm thickness okay 
so moving to next question okay let me check it so b here b is the answer and uh, this is a so in case of your uh, arc welding arc is created between electron and work already we know everything about uh, arc welding so when your current will be passed uh, in between your uh, electrode and uh, from, that is from your electrode and uh, to workpiece there will be a uh, arc that will be generated okay so it is due to the flow of current so a will be the answer there then 12 for arc heating the electrode are made up of actually graphite okay so to heat the arc we are uh, uh, making the electrode by graphite so here c will be the answer so let us check it so for 11 it will be the a that is flow of current and for 12 it is uh, c that is graphite okay let us move to next uh, in arc welding are uh, okay so this question is again repeated so a is the answer here so moving to next 14 oxygen to acetylene ratio in case of your neutral flame it is uh, 1 is to 1 okay so in case of a neutral flame so oxygen to uh, acetylene ratio is 1 is to 1 moving to next so let us check it this is a and this is b so next the phenomenon of weld decay occurs in stainless steel actually okay so in case of your stainless steel your weld decay is being uh, occurred okay so try to remember all these things so these are the theoretical only so you have to remember so moving to next question that is 16 projection welding is okay so we know projection uh, in case of a projection welding what we are doing we are going uh, welding at the different spots actually so we can say it is a, a multi spot welding process so a is the answer here so let us check it uh, 15 d and 16 a okay moving next which welding process uses uh, consumable electrode so uh, already we have discussed about the non-consumable electrode electrode that is in case of your TIG welding uh, we were telling that the non-consumable electrode also in case of your laser welding we are not uh, consuming any electrode in case of your thermite welding also we are not uh, consuming any electrode okay but in case of your metal electric gas welding that is MIG we are consuming electrode so D will be the answer there okay So for the 17, D will be the answer. Then for 18, welding process using a pool of molten metal. Okay, so I think it, this is also repeated again. So B is the answer here. So submerged arc welding. Okay. So let us move to next question. Okay. So it is which of the following is an example of semi-automatic welding process so TIG it is not uh, automatic or semi-automatic MIG may be the answer okay and because this is uh, a semi-automatic welding process submerged arc welding also uh, semi-automatic uh, so resistance or welding it's not semi-automatic so uh, from uh, two sorry B and C that is MIG and uh, submerged uh, arc welding that is SAW so if we have to choose then uh, B will be the answer that is MIG welding because uh, that is the appropriate answer okay then moving to next soldier is basically a which type of alloy matlab combination of uh, actually it is lead and tin that is option A is the correct answer here so PB plus uh, SN okay so lead and tin it is the combination of uh, these two elements so it is a lead tin based alloy actually okay so let us check it 19 B is the answer that is MI welding and uh, for 20 uh, that is a that is lead tin uh, based alloy okay so thank you keep watching keep uh, subscribe the channel and uh, uh, press on the bell icon to get uh, a latest uh, notification okay so thank you thank you for watching